Hi all, welcome back to our channel. In the previous video, we have discussed about the components in PCI 7 and their importance in industrial automation. In this current video, we will be discussing about plant bus and terminal bus concepts and what are the protocols we will be using in that plant bus and terminal bus. So let's get diving. So in today's agenda, we will be discussing about plant bus and terminal bus, Profibus protocol and Profinet protocol. As you can see in the industrial automation architecture, there are two bus planes. One is planned bus and second one is terminal bus. So uh, mainly planned bus in the sense when an automation system is connected to our OS or ES servers. So that will be termed as Plant bus system. It is nothing but connecting of OT technology to our server. So this will be termed as plant bus. So this plant bus can be in various topologies like star, bus, ring, or tree topologies can be implemented for plant bus industrial Ethernet. And when we are connecting from servers to OS clients or any reporting services will be termed it as terminal bus. So this is mainly connection of the data and information from the process to our MES or OS clients. This network will be termed as terminal bus. So in general, this plant bus and terminal bus will be implemented through Profinet or Profibus. First we will discuss about Profibus. So, Profibus and Profinet are both widely used communication protocols in fields of industrial automation and control systems. While they are related, they have some key differences. Profibus is an open field bus standard that was introduced in late 1980s. It is a serial communication protocol that enables data exchange between industrial devices in a wide range of applications. Profibus supports both decentralized and centralized network topologies and operates on a master-slave architecture. There are two different variants in Profibus. Profibus DP and Profibus PA. Profibus DP is termed as decentralized peripheries. It is used for fast data exchange between field devices and programmable logic controller PLC or other any control systems. It typically uses factory automation applications. And next, Profibus PA. It is specifically designed for process automation applications and provide intrinsically safe communication in hazardous areas. Profibus PA is used for communication with process instruments and devices, such as pressure transmitters, flow meters, and temperature sensors. Next comes Profinet. Profinet is an industrial Ethernet based on communication protocol development by Profibus International Organization. It combines the advantages of Ethernet technology with their real time capabilities, making it suitable for demanding industrial applications. Profinet allows for high speed data transmission, flexible network, topologies and integration with IT systems. Profinet supports both real-time and isosynchronous real-time communications. It enables the exchange of process data, diagnostic information, and configuration data between devices such as PLC, DCS, HMI, and other field devices. Compared to Profibus, Profinet offers high bandwidth, scalability, and the ability to integrate with standard and Ethernet infrastructure. It also provides enhanced diagnostics and advanced features for devices, configuration, and management. In summary, Profibus is field bus protocol, and it has been widely used for industrial communication for several decades. Profinet, on the other hand, it is an industrial Ethernet-based protocol that offers high performance and flexibility. Both pro protocols have their significant areas of applications. 
and continue to use in various industries depending on requirement of automation systems in the next slide we will be discussing the differences between profibus and profinet protocols so as you can see in communication technology profibus is a serial field bus protocol while profinet is an industrial ethernet protocol which utilizes standard ethernet infrastructure and when coming to speed profinet offers high speed and bandwidth compared to profibus profinet can achieve data rates 100 mbps to 1 gbps and it can go up to 10 gbps also while profibus is typically operated at 12 mbps and for profibus dp it up to 12 mbps and profibus pa it is only subjected to 31.25 kbps and when come to network topologies profibus will support mass translive peer to peer communication while profi net supports like provider and consumer sender and receiver network topologies for uh, profibus supports decentralized and centralized network topologies it can be multi drop bus multiple devices are connected in a single line bus profinet as it we know it is an ethernet based protocol supports various network topologies such as star line ring or tree structures and when we are discussing about real time capabilities standard real time soft real time so it is also termed as srp when uh, we consider the profinet it supports multiple communications like standard real time real time isosynchronous real time so when coming to distances profi bus can it can cover distances up to 100 uh, meters between devices and it can be extended to 1200 meters without repeaters i mean with repeaters so uh, when we coming to profinet it can go up to 100 meters and if we use optical fiber technology it can go up to kilometers uh, with using some repeaters and switches data volumes profi bus uh, is uh, limited for data volumes so it is suited for moderate data volume flow while profinet since it is based on ethernet communication protocol it can choose large data variation volumes including videos and voice high speed data application areas they are traditionally used in factory automation and process automation so profinet can be used in factory automation process automation and motion control also since the it can capable of transferring huge amount of data motion control applications are also be used in profinet and safety energy management etc media redundancy so uh, if you want to have a profi bus protocol in media redundancy you need to use uh, additional hardware for media redundancy but in profinet since it is based on ethernet protocol media uh, mrp protocol is built in in this profinet so if you want to integrate with uh, any it equipment like systems and all we should have separate uh, interface cards for uh, profi bus protocol but when we are considering profinet since it is already an ethernet it is easy to connect to it systems like computers and all a number of devices we can be used is like around 126 then come to profibus protocol per segment and when you are comparing profinet protocol ideally on theoretical basis it will be unlimited but in practical scenarios if you implement it can be um, subjected to 512 devices with ips data consistency must be maintained at application level support system wide uh, data consistency through provider and consumer model and uh, extension protocols were also derived from these two uh, protocols so for safety and uh, drives we use prosafe or uh, pro drive so uh, the uh, same has been derived in profinet protocols also but in extension they will be used in energy management smart buildings and many more for commissioning uh, we require specific tools to crimp that uh, profibus uh, connectors and all so it will be having two uh, terminals mainly a and b we will call it so uh, in profinet uh, it is like uh, ethernet only we can use a grimping tool 
for uh, configuring that and for uh, some software configurations uh, we'll be using web browser and smtp and mainly application focus uh, profibus has uh, traditionally been used in uh, factory automation and applications only while profibus uh, sorry profinet uh, it is uh, widely used now and uh, most of the automation projects are uh, trying to shift towards uh, profinet and there you have it guys uh, a brief introduction about uh, plant bus and terminal bus and what are the protocols we'll be using profibus and uh, profinet and uh, if you found this video helpful subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on industrial automation thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video goodbye